All right, I want to talk a little bit about the Headrush MX-5. Uh, pretty much most of what I'm saying will apply to guitar, bass, anything. I use it primarily for bass. I do play with it with guitar every now and then, but primarily is for bass is what I am going to use it for. What I like about it is it's set up, you have your rigs. It calls, a, like your patches are rigs. So if you go into set lists here, it has all, the, these are all from the factory. But the one I created, bass. Oh, did my fat finger hit it? Yeah, I hit it. So this is one I created for it on my own set list. But we're going to go to bass tones. Those are the factory installed. The buttons have different meanings. So right here is the, is different patches, I'll call them, different rigs. Then you can go, so you have the one clean channel with verb. This is just a basic bass. Funky bass. Now, if you look at these arrows here, if I double tap the, or not double tap, just hit both of them at the same time, it brings me to the next three rigs. And then if I hit this again, and there's only eight, if you look here, there's only eight in the, under the bass tones, so that's all it's going to show you, unless I created more. It's pretty nice the way it comes through that. If I go down to the first and hold that in, so the larger print is tapping it once, the smaller print is holding the button down. So if I want to go to, let's just say hybrid, I tap it. Now the hybrid, it gives you one option to assign something. So you can turn individual effects on or off. This one, for example, turns the compression, the compression on and off. If I wanted to change that to a course, I can come over here and I can hit hardware assign. And here's where you would adjust all that in the menu. So you, I can have it to where everything stays on, but this would just be instead of the compression, turn the course on or off or reverb, however you'd want it. it has a volume pedal. Pretty nice little feature though. Or you can go to the next rig, previous rig, however you have your set list set up. So if I come over here and I want rig now, stomp, that's what I want, stomp. This, you can actually assign Another compressor, EQ on and off. They got another compression on and off. Or black OP, that's distortion. That's not compression. Pretty nice though. Double tapped in. You can adjust your parameters coming in. You can adjust your parameters coming out. Uh, this is where they assign the volume. If I wanted this volume on the other end, you just drag it. Drag it and drop it. Pretty nice. Uh, I love this feature about it. So you have the amp head here that you're using. If I wanted to double that, boom. Now you got two. So you can take one, adjust your EQ one way, adjust the other one, blend them together. Maybe run one a little higher gain, a little lower gain, blend them together. You can, uh, actually, you can do that with the cabinets as well. You can adjust your output. You can, uh, hands-free, so while you're playing, 
you can set it up and you can go to the previous slot, input gain, volume, adjust your distortion, base EQ. Pretty nice you can do this on the fly while you're playing. Like I said, this isn't really a deep dive into this thing. Pretty nice though. Oop, I keep fat fingering it. Yeah, we'll just hit that. There you go. So like I have this, this is one that I created. I have it where I can turn the compression on or off, the course on or off, or the reverb on or off. You can put it wherever. Have some effects before the preamp, some after. Volume right before the cabinet. It's nice you can adjust this, the tension on it, if you want it tighter or looser. I'm going to get into oh, another feature. So look at this. You can run separate chains. Really like it. Don't know if I like it more than the Zoom B6 for bass as of yet, but it's very nice. I have not had a problem with processing power on this yet. Adjustable volume, pretty straightforward. You can also use the knob if you wanted. Open that up, adjust your EQ, however. Uh, come over here, you can adjust your course, change the colors. It's pretty slick. Number three down, you got your uh, tuner, tap tempo, mute. A lot of features this thing has. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to get into a couple more videos where we're going to create patches on this. There's a ton of videos you can go out there and watch for people. You can hear what it sounds like. We're just going to, you don't need to be hearing me play anyway. There's way better players out there. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple videos on creating patches through this, different styles, things we can do with it, how to work through the set list, create your own set lists. But once you really get into this thing, it does a lot. But it's not, once you understand how you're going through it, it's it's pretty basic. Just got to careful because with the smaller screen on the MX-5, I fat finger it a lot. Global settings, that's great. A lot of stuff you can do on it. It does have MIDI into it if you use that. I don't use MIDI. Um, it's got a huge looper. Play with your EQ on, off, adjust it how you want it. Pretty nice, though. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We will be diving deep into this thing. Thank you.